Welcome back. It's now time for your lunchtime sports. Cricket is where we begin. Jamaica Scorpions have it all to do in their regional four-day match against the defending champions, Guy and the Harpy Eagles, with the visitors reaching 66 for two in their second innings at lunch on day three at Sabina Park. They lead by 330 runs. Earlier, the Scorpions were dismissed without adding to their overnight total of 153 for nine in their first innings reply. Marquina Minley was last man out for 13 as Verasami Pramol took five for 55. Romaine Morris was let not out on 21. So scores in the match so far, the Harpy Eagles are 420. 24 and a 60 for two Jamaica Scorpions 153 and staying on cricket chasing 291 to win Mayday High were battling at 130 for six in their second innings reply against Manchester High in the Issa Grace Headley Cup final at Manchester the Manchester High School grounds they require a further 158 for victory now Shane Mead has carried on to 37 from his overnight 15 while Javid Williams fell for 35 after zooming on a 29 Ravon Morgan has so far taken two wickets for Manchester High. So scores in the match, this on the third and final day, Manchester High 219 and 189, Mayday High 118 and 133 for six. J3A's president Garth Gale is downplaying reports of a lucrative multi-million dollar contract proposal from sportswear manufacturing giants Adidas. Adidas has offered 4.85 million US dollars per year or over 750 million Jamaican dollars a year at today's exchange rate. Local track and fields governing body, the J3A's rather to partner with the J3As over the next eight years. TVJ Sports is in possession of documents showing a breakdown of the proposal which would see the J3As receiving 2.5 million US dollars a year as a retainer. TVJ Sports further understands that the base retainer for Adidas' proposed deal is more than twice the association's current deal with another German sportswear a giant Puma. Gail had this to say on the development. And so whether there is a offer, I will not tell you that there's not offers. Offer. There are offers, but we are in a contract, a binding contract, and so we must respect and protect that contractual arrangement. TVJ Sports has also been reliably informed that Adidas had made a previous offer to the J3As in 2013, which would have seen local track and fields governing body earning a total of just under $10 million more over the eight-year period ending in 2020 than their previous Puma contract. And in a development, Adidas has responded to TVJ Sports' request for a comment on the matter. In an email response on Friday, Senior Director of Sports Marketing at Adidas, Spencer Nell, called the, the Jamaica Athletics Administrative Association J3As as one of the best track and field federations in the world with an incredible history. He added that they are always looking to collaborate with leading federations across sport and would welcome an opportunity to work together in the future. Nell added that Adidas has a long and successful history of working uh, together with the leading Jamaican athletes and sponsors numerous high schools and invests heavily in sports development at both the grassroots and elite levels with programs like the Racers Track Club. And that's where we leave the track for now. And I am Jermaine Brown. Shamela, back to you. Thank you, Jermaine. And that's the Midday News. I'm Shamela Pullen. Join us at 7 for Primetime News. On behalf of the news sports and production teams, good afternoon.